so I could not operate with the barn the way it was. So we did a little project today, um, yesterday and today. <clears throat> we reorganized the barn, took the half wall out, and moved the hay over to that little two-foot section that was over in that back corner. Built a shelf so we can stack the hay. Now, I see the wall is all the way to the end so the goats can't get in there because that space was just totally useless. It, um, the goats weren't going in there. Um, nobody was going in there, so I figured I'd take the space. This way I can get to all my buckets nice and easy. All my cleanup stuff, my medicine, all that fun stuff. And we're probably going to build a shelf. But, and then my poo poo bucket, my lime, everything's easy to reach. I can just go right here and throw the hay in their bale. Their water's over there. I didn't want it anywhere near here because they get hay and everything else in there. So they're, they're tired. They were running around all day. So they may um, go to bed early. It's not dark yet, but um, Sunny's still chomping away on some dropped hay. Um, so they're all ready. We've got plenty of room in here. So hopefully that will be organized much better. So the girls are out. It is sundown. It's almost six o'clock. We had been putting them up super early because it was freezing. Today was gorgeous. It was in the 60s and uh, not to be careful there, girl. Um, so I fed them and letting them play out here for a little bit trying to get them up before our dinner time which should be here pretty soon there are some clouds but um it's not supposed to rain till friday we had a little uh, mishap with the pool and uh, it flooded part of the pen not good not all of it but um just up to the shed so hopefully with the sun you know that'll that'll dry out in the next couple days because we had enough um, moisture and wetness. <laughs> they're all feisty now because they've got full bellies. You got full belly? I can't put you up if you're all frisky. Yeah, you'll be bouncing off the walls in there. The temperature is definitely dropping though. They don't care. They made it through just fine. Everybody's got their toes and ears and little furry butts. So we had two heat lamps going in there. And um, I think they stayed relatively warm. No injury. So thank the good Lord for that. We are thankful that um, that worked out. Hey girls, you ready to go to bed? It's getting dark. You want to go to bed? They're like, mm, no. We want to run around and play. Hey. Don't be looking for escape routes over there. No, no. Don't get any ideas. I'm on the outside of the pen. I'm going to go around. We are adding the gate over here so I can just walk straight through to the back of the barn, which will be nice. Um, we took it out over there. We still have to fix that corner and uh, add the hardware over here and, and lock that gate in, summon it in. It's been too cold, so we've got to do that. And then I can just walk straight from the house through this gate and back to the back side of the barn where I can um, get in without them. Uh, attacking me and <laughs> get their food ready and and put it out without without being jumped all right girls it's getting cool out here let's go let's go to bed i don't want to put them up too early because i want them to you know they ate about an hour and a half ago well sunny's going in the barn so i want them to get their poo-poos out 
out here rather than in the barn. There they go. <laughs> On your sister? Don't pick on your sister. About fell in a hole. Get her, Coco. Get her. Nope. Not gonna get her. Oh, I'm gonna go potty. Okay. Well, that's nice. 